As they threaten here in the fourth inning, Terry Pendleton with his second base hit of the World Series. David Justice, the batter. He struck out swinging, ending the first. He left Sanders at third. The Braves now are hitting the Blue Jays 3-2. First and second with nobody out in the fourth in a scoreless ball game. First pitch to Justice. Well hit the center field. Devon White racing back to the warning track. Great catch up against the wall. And the runners passed each other. Pendleton went by Sanders. He has already been called out. Now they have Sanders in a rundown with a chance for a triple play. Gruber did not get him. Sanders made it back to second. Gruber insisting to Bob Davidson that he made the tag, but the umpire does not agree, and they came within inches of a triple play. Pendleton was out. He went by Sanders thinking that White would not make the catch, and it's easy to understand why he would think that way. Look at that catch. And here are the runners crossing right here. Pendleton passing Sanders, so he's out. Dion allowing him to go back to first. I thought that was nice. And then Dion tagging up and trying to go to third. And here's the attempted tag. Kelly Gruber said he got him on the foot, and it looked like he did from that angle. He did get him on the foot. What a bizarre play. My goodness. Kelly Gruber says, I tagged him on the foot, and he may just have. Wow. And again, the Blue Jay fans boo. They thought they were victimized by some bad calls in game two, particularly by home plate umpire Mike Riley. Did Kelly Gruber tag Dion? It looked like he did on the right foot. Mm -hmm. And that would have been one of the most unusual triple plays I've ever heard about had it happened. Well, you can't argue with the position of the umpire Bob Davidson. He had a perfect view of it, right? Gruber doesn't say much to umpires ordinarily. Usually when he does, it's because he fully believes he's right. He certainly appeared to be. A remarkable play by Devon White started this, and a diving stab with a glove ended it. And it looked like he tagged him on the right heel. The first angle was the best. All angles show that he tagged him, mm -hmm. appears to me. So now Sanders at second with two down. Lonnie Smith at the plate with a count of two and one. After Pendleton tagged, or after Pendleton passed Sanders at second base, Dion went back to second to tag up to go to third. I don't think Toronto knew that he that he passed him because had mm -hmm. they known that they wouldn't have thrown the ball to first base. Right, they didn't need to. Pendleton had already right. been called out by the umpires as you saw on the replay. Two and two the count. You hear the fans continuing to boo. Obviously in a high-tech building such as this there are television sets everywhere. So these fans, many of them have seen the same replays that you saw. There's only been one triple play in postseason history. That was by Cleveland way back in 1920. It was unassisted. That is correct. And that's outside. The count is full as the crowd roars. No score. We're in the top of the fourth inning of game three of the World Series. What a tone this World Series is taking on. Couldn't ask for much more in the way of excitement than we had in Game 2. And we've already topped it with this play in Game 4. In game 3 in the fourth inning. Smith strikes out, and that ends the inning. Five strikeouts for Guzman. The inning highlighted by the great catch by Devon White. 